Welcome back to our program. I'm your host, Ray Guo. We will continue our conversation with Minister Tsai Chunhong, who is the Minister of the Atomic Energy Council here in Taiwan. Minister Tsai, we know that you are an expert on nuclear energy, and you have been a professor of nuclear engineering at Tsinghua University for many, many years. Yes. And in your vast experience on education, especially high education in Taiwan, do you think our university training, both at the undergraduate and also the graduate level, is adequate in terms of producing uh, the kinds of technical personnel that we need to continue our government and also our economy's continued growth and vitality? Well, it uh, has been always a hard issue. Yes. The, that how the engineering Mm -hmm. education can fit to the need of the uh, evolving uh, and emerging technology or industry. Yes. Uh, as I remember uh, back in 20 years ago, mm -hmm. um, okay. I attended a seminar discussing yeah. okay. about how a engineering education program mm -hmm. be reformed okay. to cope with the emerging technology and industry for uh, IT technology, mm, yes, yes, information technology. Of course. But now you, we are talking about ICT, you know, command, you know, communication together. Yes. And we also talk about nanotechnology, uh, genotech. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, now we come to you know energy technology and mm -hmm. so on. Of course. So um, uh, uh, we we have. Uh, uh, so many different emerging technologies. Mm -hmm. If you are asking how we can cope with all these different technologies, yes, and you know reform the educational program yeah. mm -hmm. for different technologies, mm -hmm. how can you do that? Yeah, it's so it's, my my yeah. view is that, uh -huh. <laughs> that most importantly for a university, yes, is to have a uh, strong and supportive uh, basic science and, and engineering program. Good. Okay. And uh, in combining with that, uh, mm -hmm. we ought to have uh, some more flexible interdisciplinary programs. Okay. Yes. Um, it's very similar to uh, what we talk about, um, you know, double major uh, yes. program mm -hmm. or uh, a major and minor program. Yes. But the difference is that the other major or the other minor mm -hmm. is not from a department. No. It's from a multidisciplinary program. Good. Which can fit to you know, different emerging technologies. Okay. I think uh, uh, what we can uh, tell our students okay. is not to you know, every time run for the hard industry. Of course. Mm -hmm. And try to choose a department fit to the industry. Mm -hmm. Instead, he should find his own interest. Yes. And mm -hmm. find a basic department, stay mm -hmm. on, okay. and then choose a flexible program mm -hmm. uh, for his career in the future. Okay. And uh, the issue, of course, you know, especially with the younger generation of students, you know, they are very pragmatic. Sure. You know, as you mentioned, yes. you know, they may run to the you know, uh, department or you know, major in a certain area because it's easy to get a job sure. when they graduate. <laughs> so do you think that well, we have among today's you know, college students in Taiwan, do we have enough you know, uh, knowledge or awareness that they you know, should develop an interest in basic fundamental science? in engineering and uh, other you know, areas that you mentioned that can help them prepare you know, later on to choose a multidisciplinary you know, a career? Well, if, if you talk about the uh, uh, basic science and, and engineering program, mm -hmm. um, the research-oriented uh, uh, universities like uh, Taita, you know, mm -hmm. Taiwan universities, of course. or Tsinghua universities, mm -hmm. or uh, Jiao Tong universities. Mm -hmm. They have a very good, you know, fundamental science program. Good. Starting from mathematics, yes. uh, uh, 
chemistry, physics, uh, physics, yeah. And, yeah. and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And then also have material science yes. mm -hmm. for interdisciplinary program. Mm -hmm. And in Tsinghua, we have an institute of nuclear science mm -hmm. and engineering. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we used to provide an interdisciplinary uh, training mm -hmm. for the students to go into the nuclear industry. Yes. Okay. Because in the nuclear reactors, mm -hmm. you know, you need uh, uh, not only mechanical engineer, um, electrical engineer, but also material engineers. Of course, yes. Mm -hmm. And we change the name to so-called uh, the Department of System Science and Engineering. Okay. Uh, about ten or uh, fifteen some years, 10 years, years ago. ago. Okay. Yes. And we provide this sort of interdisciplinary program okay. for the students to, to go into, as I mentioned, ICT industry mm -hmm. or nanotechnology mm -hmm. or even, uh, you know, um, uh, genotechnology. Mm -hmm. but, and now when the time comes to, uh, you know, th that we need more nuclear engineers, mm -hmm. we shift this program back to nuclear engineer uh, again. Yes. Uh, it was about four years ago uh, we started another institute uh, okay. of uh, nuclear engineering mm -hmm. in graduate mm -hmm. program. Okay, good. And uh, I was told that there were only single digit of students mm -hmm. uh, on, willing to uh, enroll nuclear engineering in the program, program mm -hmm. uh, in, back in about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. But now it's in the class is sitting there uh, more than 100 students. Okay. So we have more students willing to go to into uh, uh, nuclear engineering. Mm -hmm. And I believe that we have enough basic program and interdisciplinary program okay. uh, for the students to be in interested the future, okay. in the future. Yes. And uh, as we know, with the signing of ECFA with China, uh, in the future, maybe that we will see some mainland students coming into sure. Taiwan to receive their college education or mm -hmm. graduate level training. Mm -hmm. But also at the same time with the signing of ECFA, Taiwan is becoming more integrated both internationally and also regionally. Mm -hmm. Minister Tsai, can you give us your suggestions both as an educator and also now a government official that what can we do, you know, both the society, or our government, uh, universities and also the industries. What can we do together to ensure that first our students will remain competitive you know, with the incoming of mainland students to Taiwan, but also at the same time, there is a steady supply of, of the you know, students. Yeah, students and technical personnel to meet the demands of the industries. What can we do together? Well, it, it's, it's a very quest good question. Uh, yeah. Actually, mm -hmm. in the last uh, few years or so, mm -hmm. the universities in Taiwan yes. becoming more and more international. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. there are more and more courses taught in English. English, yes, uh, especially in Tsinghua. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, we are actually attracting more and more interna international students to come into Taiwan. That's terrific. Uh, either from uh, East Asia, uh, mm -hmm. from India. Mm -hmm. And uh, as well as from Thai, uh, from from mainland, well, yes. the mainland uh, students, uh, Chinese students, are not coming here for degree yet. No, mm -hmm. but they are coming here for exchange students. Yeah, for short term. Yeah, mm -hmm. but as to your question, uh, mm -hmm. wh how whether we can keep our students <laughs> here? Yes. Yeah. You know, um, I am confident mm -hmm. that we have strong. Uh, educational program yes. to keep our good students here in Taiwan. Yeah, most of the good students. Okay. Uh, uh, as long as we have uh, competitive mm -hmm. industry okay, yes. develop mm -hmm. here. Okay. Uh, that's how it happens uh, in the last uh, 20 years ago. Yes. Uh, uh, last 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, we are worried about not many students willing to go to abroad yes. for education. Mm -hmm. uh, which is 
the, the uh, what what has happened uh, mm -hmm. 20 years ago. Yes, exactly. Yeah. We're going to take another short break on our program, and we will come back or we'll conclude and also wrap up our discussions with Minister Tsai Chun Hong, who is the Minister of the Atomic Energy Council here in Taiwan. I'll see you in just a few minutes. <laughs> 